Uh, this is what we saw in the right here. Mm -hmm. It was actually much smaller. Yeah, that's where the reefing went for the uh, for the parachutes. Because I saw this uh, when they were just putting the parachutes on it in Hawthorne. Uh, uh, so, when it was a little shinier. Yep. <laughs> I've not actually seen one that hasn't, I mean, I've only seen the flown one. I've never seen a new one. This is astronaut Garen Reisman, who now works for uh, SpaceX. So here we are, KSC, STS-135, NASA tweet up, day one, it is 826, 827 in the morning. I'm super excited. There's a lot of great folks going to be here, get to meet Bob Crippen today, Mike Massimino, I get to meet uh, Doug Wheelock, again, I got to see him at the NASA headquarters tweet up, it's fantastic, the guy's amazing. And uh, Elmo's going to be here. I'm, I'm not crazy about meeting Elmo. I'm pretty crazy about meeting Kevin Clash, who's the voice of Elmo. So, uh, we get to see rollback today, RSS rollback, and really hoping for launch tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how well anybody can see clouds in the phone, but uh, out the car windows. There's a lot of clouds here. So, anyhow, hoping for good weather. We're sitting in... Uh, Back up, waiting to get into the gate. We, we the real we, that's me. Uh, so, excited. I got to be here yesterday, and uh, guys, go check my YouTube, rest of my YouTube channel at Untied Music Studio, and uh, my TwitPic uh, account, uh, Vax Headroom. We got a lot of, uh, a lot of amazing, amazing footage. Um, from SpaceX, uh, their uh, Slick 40 launch uh, facility, including uh, Falcon 9 th number 3, and we got to see the Dragon capsule uh, number 1, which had flown around the world and come back in uh, to orbits. Anyway, just uh, a great day yesterday. That was a total happenstance. It was just like... Uh, Pete Rosette and I, were, uh, who's got media badge through um, Space Vidcast, we were at the press site, and I called Ben Higginbotham from Space Vidcast and said, hey, where are you? And he says, I'm on a bus. He said, we're taking a tour of SpaceX. Come on, get on the bus. I was like, okay. <laughs> so we got a three-hour tour. I always like saying three-hour tour. It always reminds me of Gilligan's Island somehow. All right. More later. There's a moat around the cafeteria. <laughs> There's just no way around it. We're just going to have to slog through. Turn around, go around.
resting area that, that we all roped off. Um, please stay inside that area. Do not go outside of it. There's animals on the other side. You don't want to meet <laughs> snakes, alligators, and all the other good stuff. Uh, good. You're still alive, so you, you, you stay at your distance. Anyway, stay in the rope net area and everything. The buses will be parked here on the road because we can't get off the road to the buses. We're at 315. We're going to load back up on the buses. We're going back to the EP. Okay? And you'll see on the pad there, you can see the top of the external tank, and you can also see the, um, the solid rocket boosters, the top of them, the top skirt anyway. You see that water tower that's next there that holds a whole bunch of water, and that's the day loop system. If you look at the corner of the pads, right down at the bottom of the shuttle, it, look, it literally looks like a rainbird sprinkler at each corner and uh, a valve opens and all that water falls down that column and sprays onto the launch pad and uh, then it's recovered of course and then a lot of the a lot of the plume that you'll see come out of the back side of the shuttle um, is actually steam you know, that the uh, uh, that's uh, shooting out the back side as that as that water is vaporized of course and the, so you look to the left there and there's the the shuttle's actually got the rss um, rolled back protecting it. We're hoping that that's what they roll back here shortly. It kind of swings open like a door, like a clamshell. And right now it's protecting the actual body of the sh uh, space shuttle itself. As we get around, I don't know how far we're going to go, if we're going to go all the way around the pad, but on this back side you'll see uh, the uh, external tank and the solid rocket boosters will be in clear view there. And, um, also, you see wires coming out the side, uh, the left side of the pad. You can see uh, wires as where the escape buckets are that you may have seen that the astronauts we train, we train for a pad abort. Do you see those lines going down? It's uh, at the top of the, the top of the landing. I think there's six, if I'm not mistaken, maybe seven or six, six buckets that you get inside and you you uh, you just get down inside this basket, you press a paddle, and you slide down that wire. Uh, to, to uh, do our emergency rapid abort from the pad, and so those are the lines you see there. Um, also, you see this big white, now you see it out the front of the bus, there's, um, uh, of course, the external tank is fueled with, the fuel is liquid hydrogen, and the oxidizer is liquid oxygen, and those uh, those elements are contained in these big white, uh, white bubbles. There's one on the other side as well. We keep them apart, of course, on the ground. Okay, folks, go ahead and get off, get inside the fishing area. The astronaut will be in there to talk to you guys. We're going to stay here till about uh, quarter after three. We're not sure whether the RSS is going to roll back or not yet, but uh, take all the pictures you want to, and if it starts raining, please get back on the bus. <laughs> Why am I shooting an empty field, you wonder? Because there's a rocket over here. Control those things, control like the weather, and that's just sort of make 
wise decisions on whether or not to take vitamins. For my audience, what is the problem? lens is fogged up. When have you been back? Thank you. I went up on the shuttle discovery from this launch uh, launch on October 23rd, 2007. And I stayed on the uh, space for 18 days and then returned here. So I know the glare on this is terrible. Hopefully you guys can read it. T minus five hours, 43 minutes. Three, four, two, three, four seconds. Zero seconds and counting. It's about uh, two o'clock in the morning out here at the press site. And uh, that little dot out there, and you can see this a little bit. I'm gonna walk out. This, was the, this is the countdown clock. And uh, I'll walk out here a little bit, hopefully this comes out in the video because this is the coolest most epic looking thing ever the white dot that's there and kind of in the center of the screen is the space shuttle uh, pad 39a and it's got these big white beams on it that you've probably seen before but they're they're shining up on the clouds and you get this absolutely epic looking <laughs> scene where the the beams are illuminating the clouds still kind of spitting rain here a little bit we are tanking so we have at least a shot at launching the first launch attempt on Friday estimate is still currently 30 percent good weather uh, which means it's a 70 percent chance that we'll actually scrub due to weather uh, biggest concern there is heavy rain and lightning within 20 miles of the pad as I pan around a little bit you can see some other lights. These are uh, a few other people here. Uh, that tent there, the big tent, um, is uh, where the uh, the new crew launch vehicle is. And that really bright set of lights there, uh, that's actually Space Vidcast uh, up all night, talking space, doing a 14-hour uh, launch, uh, up-to-date launch marathon. Uh, ben and Carrie Ann Hagenbotham, uh, Tim Bailey, Pete Rezette, and I are all out here uh, doing Space Vidcast. Since they've done the uh, go for tanking uh, call, we expect uh, the NASA tweet up people to start showing up probably within the next hour. So we will get some more pe tweet up people on. Uh, so it's just kind of an interesting view out here, really, really quiet. All these tents are out here, all set up for all these media folks. Uh, the, the buildings uh, back there are the permanent building CBS and the uh, NASA official NASA buildings. And uh, as we pan slowly around, uh, there's a few people out taking pictures and doing some video and, wow. and capture some stuff. Here's the vehicle assembly building. Actually, the countdown clock shows up a little better over here. Uh, there's a little bit of better contrast, although it's harder to read the numbers. But, uh, we are at uh, five hours, 40 some minutes on counting.
They're probably still over there walking out, yeah. <laughs> what is that, baby? What's the question? Convoy. Who said convoy? Oh, I didn't like Breaker, Breaker, we got ourselves a convoy. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, no, I know who, I know who, I know who it is. I'll think of it in a minute. See, I've been doing that for the last five minutes. Yeah, well. No, 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 uh-uh. I can see him in my head, cowboy hat, sunglasses. He always sat down when he sat down. Conway Twitty, is it? No, no it wasn't Conway Twitty. Uh -uh. That's nothing. the guy that did all the duets with Logan. Mm. Curly, curly, curly. Whew. This guy had straight hair, looked kind of John Denver-ish, in fact. What are you down. saying? You like my country music award on fire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a long term cowboy in my head. That's bad. <laughs> they heard you though. That's why that's <laughs> okay. They, they both Put the coffee there. <laughs> Yep. He's like drinking his coffee in the van. <laughs> Showering uh -huh. him. It's already so out. humid, it's not going to matter. Don't, don't, don't. I got to go in the other way. Did you all go? Is there a flicker for the... Yeah. Hand got set. Oh, I tried to get a picture of the... So they actually have a sniper in the helicopter? Yes, they That's actually do. That's awesome. Because awesome. I'm sure there's... You will see him when he comes over here. <laughs> That's great. Is it, is it so we don't have a situation like more contact? Under 50 people <laughs> There's actually oh, 10 the snipers in it. And a fake, yes. there's a fake sniper in the front. <laughs> there's actually dis <laughs> dispatch in the front. Here we go. It's moving like the sunflowers.
no. Oh, my oh, no. Oh, no way. No, don't. No.
Doesn't matter. Good to know it happened. Two engine towel. Uh, let me just say that's a breathtaking experience. Uh, just the, the sound, uh, the brightness of the solid rocket boosters uh, cannot be described. It just overwhelms your retina and just leaves you completely retina burned with these streaks going up it. Uh, I tried to capture my reactions uh, and just totally uh, the phone overheated, so I didn't get the video I wanted to get, but uh, here we are at uh, T plus uh, 15 minutes. Astronauts are safely in orbit. And uh, it's just uh, hard to describe. Take your breath away. Just totally amazing. Uh, lots of people here, lots of great press. Uh, we had a lot of incredible uh, visitors who came in, and uh, I'm pretty psyched. Uh, that was a once in a lifetime and a last in a lifetime experience all at once. So, uh, hope this audio is not getting killed here. But anyway, God bless. Go Atlantis. All right, just to give you guys an idea of how epic this endless barbecue party is, this is the off-site parking. These businesses are all closed. This is just the off-site parking for the barbecue. And I think there's probably people parked on the other side of the building as well, uh, around there. I was parked around there before. So uh, we're walking about, uh, just about a tenth of a mile up to uh, Decepticon headquarters, up to uh, Chris's house. Let's see if I can keep the wind off the microphones here. Um, so everybody's got to park off. Uh, there's some people parked up here on the street, but most people are parked off. Uh, I ran from here back down to Pete Rizet's house uh, down in Palm Bay, about 40 miles or so. But uh, he uh, he needed to be here. He's let me stay at his house, so heck, I can go get him for the party. But he was he's still unpacking. He just moved. Anyway, he tweets as uh, Todd the Moon and. I'll stop here real quick instead of walking. If we pan up just a little bit, there's a beautiful shot of the half moon right there with the palm trees. So, anyhow, keep walking down here real quick. So all the cars in the road down here are all also part of the party and the, uh, you can't quite see them yet, all the people down here, so. It's overflow outside, overflow inside, people on the, the pool deck and out in the backyard and the house is packed. So we'll do a quick walk around once we get in there. It's kind of be pretty loud, so might not get any uh, narration in. But uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, Pete brought back his 10-inch uh, Dobsonian telescope, so uh, now we have a star party as well. Already a crowd and a line around the telescope. I've only been gone two minutes. It's pretty cool. And the, uh, these little uh, bright blinky LEDs, they're actually just magnetic. They go on the back of just a piece of sheet metal. They're from Think Geek. They sent us a whole case of them. How are you doing, guys? The line for the telescope already. I've only been gone two minutes. Hi, Mr. Ben. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Who got a 
Hey. The number of people I have Are you taking video? I am. Awesome. Yes, we'll upload it to YouTube in about three minutes. Can't wait. We can do a little walk around. Whoops. What did we lose there? Kids in the pool, people in the van. There we are, flying Jenny. Who else here? Dave, Tiffany. Dave Bashford, how are you? I made it back. More LEDs, the endless barbecue sign. <laughs> The Septicon headquarters here. Let's see if we can make it through the kitchen. DJ Flux, spinning tunes. John Burr, how are you, man? Now we're, now we're There's Apache Man. Say hi. Up oh, okay, because I'm about to play. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually gonna we're actually gonna rotate it. So this is actually the lock canal system at Canaveral that they bring the, uh, the Liberty Star and the Freedom Star boats through towing the solid rocket boosters. They're not obviously here at the moment, uh, but uh, I happen to have been here. I don't know that I'm going to get back in time to see them or when they're coming through, but uh, the lock system is pretty cool. So I just wanted a short, uh, hey, look what this is video just so you can uh, you can kind of see this is a pretty cool pretty cool system it's between uh, I think it's kind of between the ocean and the river so uh, kind of neat. I hadn't actually been out here before. It's way in the back and beyond. you got to really uh, drive under a couple of bridges and over some things and around a couple of loops and whatever just in order to see it. So, uh, kind of neat. And you can see over here a couple of big boats including the Disney Cruise Line. They're making some announcements on deck. I can hear the voices. I can't really tell what they're saying at this point. That's where the big cruise ships sleep from down here at the north side of Cocoa Beach. Cloud's making the rocket garden really epic tonight. It's pretty fun. This is the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center.